reproduction, i.e. having children, a source of values in its own right, just as your individual life. From a biological standpoint, the two seem to be of equal importance. Well, this person talks about the goal of life. What is life? A value in itself. Value to whom? If I choose to have a child, then a child is a value to me. But if I choose not to have a child, and one is foisted on me, it's a disaster, <clears throat> not a value. You, you know, what, can you, what would be the meaning of saying it's a, a disaster to you, but life likes it? Which life likes it? And the same for important. Biology finds it important to whom? Who the hell cares about biology? Biology is the name for the sum of what we know about living things. How can biology come in and say, well, now it's important? This person is taking a religious view. Individual desires, goals, preferences are irrelevant. God stands up there and he says, from the point of view of my cosmic plan, have kids. I don't believe in God. This is what we call intrinsicism. In, in other words, value is there whether anybody values it or not. And it's a form of Plato, and it's interesting that it uses floating abstractions, which is the essence of Plato's other world, life, biology, value, none of these uh, are concretized.